are you here? I've been, I'm here. Did you, could you tell I'm here? Been here waiting for you. Waiting to talk to you, beautiful soul. Yeah, it's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's Robin. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Am I clear? Okay, good. I hope so. Hi, gorgeous friends. This is me, Robin. This is Morning Magic. This is our time to come together and practice. Shining a light, remembering the light, sharing the light. I gotta get some powder. <laughs> Getting some powder. Fixing the I don't really do a lot of makeup, but sometimes later, here's the secret. I get embarrassed because I didn't look so together. Because I just want to come and be natural, right? So, <laughs> there, I fixed that. It's good now. See? Just do it. Look, just do it. Good morning, gorgeous soul. I'm so happy to see you today. Say hi to each other. This is our posse. You know, this is our place to be together and remember each other and remember the love and take care of our needs. Anything goes. Yeah, so let me sing the song. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello, good morning. It's me, Robin. Let me say hi to you. Lexi, first one here. Miss Mads, it's a tie. Good morning, ladies. Hello, Miss TJ. Tari, always love it when you're here. Hello. Hey, Scattering Stardust. Hi, my... Whoa. <laughs> you got the power, girl. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Just like, just know it. It's a powerful day. Like the whole setup just shifted when I said your name. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Liz, it's been a while. I had to look up your ID. It's lovely. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Josie, good afternoon. <laughs> ah, hey, Miss Leisha. Hello, Roshni. Miss Melanie, Miss Melanie, hello. Miss Carrie, Miss Carrie, Miss Kara, Miss Kara. Amanda, Miss Beauty, hello. Hi, Caroline. Yay! Amy! Woo, woo, woo. I got to meet you. Wow, right? How are we blessed, people? We are so blessed. Hello, gorgeous Robin and Fram from Miss Leisha. This is our family, you guys. I mean, hi. Have you seen the nut job world at times? Huh? Oh my god. Sometimes I do I posted about this this morning here on Insta. Sometimes I'm like, seriously, I have just, I just don't even know. I see something, I hear something, you know, I'm like, <laughs> that's what happens. But then I think about you. It's the truth, too. And when one of us, our flame goes out because we lose a little hope because we read something nuts. I think about you and how your flame is probably on and I'm just going to float in your wake today and enjoy your sparkles. <laughs> and remember, this is our family. This is our time. We are the unicorns we've been waiting for. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. The magic dust. Mads, it's just, it's called invisible powder. This is so me. It, I think it's it cosmetics. It's just a you know, it takes some of the shine away. Greasy, whatever, sweat. I don't know what it is. No bugs today, you hope, Caroline? I do too. Really, that was like a once in a lifetime experience. I really think back on that, for those of you here for the killer cicada wasp, and I wrote about that in the newsletter today. By the way, it's kind of funny, but when I write posts like that, I get so many unsubscribes. So I guess, you know, it just, if you loved it, if you read it, the newsletter, the letter, happy mail, 
I suppose we're just tightening our family a little more because <laughs> I had so many unsubscribes. Like, what? Do I not get to uh, share stories like that? They're important stories, you know? Because I was really talking about fear, embracing your fear and going forward anyway and finding out. I mean, things happening on the live, that's, you know, I'm done. There's nothing else now. I don't need to worry anymore. I just even touched up my uh, powder. There you go. Hot flashes, check. Killer cicada wasp, check. Malfunction, uh, you know, we've had it where the whole camera fell over. <laughs> check. We're done. Happy Friday. Hey, Miss Amy. Yay, you're here. That's great. Thanks for coming. Hey, 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 Miss Anna, Miss Anna, Miss Anna. Hi, Jeffy. Jeffy Poo. I love you. That's my husband. Did you see it? We kind of have a love affair going on, you know. It's only been 20 years. Married. Coming up this week, by the way. <laughs> don't panic, honey. Please don't go on to Insta uh, Amazon and buy me a gift. Forget about it. It's kind of a joke, but not really. Because he, he might, you know, in his, in his little worry. Um, I'm just fixing the title if you see me, like, typing things here. <laughs> the best gift Jeff ever gave me is, it's my gift, so it's my business to share, right, <laughs> is uh, poetry, um, and a couple years ago, he might still have the stick figure drawing, honey, where is that? He drew a stick figure happy anniversary card for me that is to die for. It's so beautiful. So I love, those are my gifts, you know? Good morning, Miss Jen. Good morning, Ellen. What's up, everyone? Yeah, I love it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You guys are the best. I love our enthusiasm here right now. It is awesome. We are family. I got all my sisters and brothers and me. That's right. Leisha, one of my favorite Louise Hey, affirmations, you are the treasure you've been seeking, and I think that about all of us here. It's so true, you know? It's And it's funny, yesterday I was thinking about what you seek is seeking you from Rumi, so timely, because I'm gonna pull a card for us today, Friday. We're gonna have magic prayer today. I wanna know if you would like some prayers, some healing, just you wanna present something today, Friday, magic prayer. Um. I love that reminder that the thing I want, wants me back. And it's also working for when I'm carrying my upset, because I want to be in my upset. I'm unwilling to, um, I didn't call you unwilling. I'm unwilling to release, you know? That upset is seeking me back. It's such a powerful reminder, you know? It is awe, Amy, I know. Your calendar quote today? That's funny, Ellen. Kara says, being here is a strong part of my self-care. I'm so grateful for all of you. Yeah. You know, it is. Through the day, I think about us. I know you think about us. I know you think about me. I think about you. Um, there is a change that's happening. There is a change that ha is happening, a uh, transformation. We're being held in a much bigger container. No cards yet, friends. I don't push it. I'll wait. Hey, Bernadette. Wow, two times. I get to see you. Yay, yay. Deep in their roots, all flowers keep the light. And the quote was on the next line. Ellen, that's beautiful. Wow. That's amazing. So, um, oh, here it is. Ooh, I have a basket of uh, <laughs> cards here. Just some of my favorites, but. Um, yeah, 
So let's have a cheers. I'm just going to pull these out in case a different deck for a different message. So I would like to cheers to us. Thank you, Bernadette. I would like to cheers for, for us. Butterfly Mug. Thank you, Miss Melanie. Melanie April Art. Made this, made this uh, art. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I'll get it out. And I have a funny story. Okay, just remember that this morning I said to Jeff, I wish these butterflies were blue because blue butterflies you know, that's sort of like our Love Posse logo, our Love Posse symbol. Not that Melanie needs to make special art for me. And I wondered, I said, must check and see if there is a blue butterfly mug. And then I realized, but this is my favorite mug, so forget it. If I got a butterfly mug, I probably wouldn't use it other than this one. You got it? So I was like, whatevs. All right, so that's one half. This is clickbait. No, is it called clickbait? No, it's called open chapters in writing. I'll tell you the rest of the story later. Cheers to you. <laughs> you are beautiful. You are amazing. Oh yeah, and y you know what? You make my life so good. And I know that's a selfish one, but you make my life so good. Cheers. You make my life so good. <laughs> Melanie picked the same mug today too. Kindreds! It's beautiful. Owls for symbolism. That's beautiful. Last night we watched an episode of the Durrells in Corfu. I think we started season four, episode one last night. And, um... Gerald came home with a baby owl. So cute, baby white owl. So friends, did you get up this morning and hug yourself? Did you get up and love yourself? Mm, mm. I'm going to put the air back on. It's going to be 90 here today. Woo, 90 though. I like it. Get warm. You know? Yeah. Did you get up and hug yourself today? Did you love on you today? How is the weather in your heart today? Um, you know, it's kind of a big deal this day. Did you know? We're celebrating the, the March on Washington. Celebrating. I, you know, words are so sometimes not good, but I'm going to do my best here today, okay? We're celebrating the marches. Um, we're celebrating the people, and there are marches happening today. Yes. And so I, yeah, and Amy, you see stuff going on. Is that why, you, are you home today because of that or what? Here comes our card, babe. <laughs> Amy, I guess, Amy, I guess you needed to uh, post that little sign right there so I could pull this card. Love holds no grievances. And is the color our color or what? Yes, indeedy. Love holds no grievances. Oh my God, you guys. You can't make this stuff up. Yeah, I was just going to talk about the post I posted today. How, you know, I lost some hope this morning because I read the story about I don't know how specific I should be. You know, I just, but there was a guy in Kenosha who killed some people in a protest last night, last night, night before. But it, and it wasn't even that, which sounds horrible, but it was that afterwards he was excitedly celebrating. I just killed somebody. I just shot someone. Like he said it out loud. And you know, that, that moment of meaningless, witnessing that meaningless mind. You know, my thoughts, I'm talking about Course in Miracles when I say meaningless. Um, of course, every life matters. Even the ones where so, like, I don't get it. They, they have a part to play. And they have the light in them. 
We don't have to love what they're doing. Of course we do not, do we? Um, but we can't, like Paul Selig and the guide say, we can't damn them and expect to go free. We can't, you know, shun them and expect to be all right ourselves. We have to practice. And so I'm trying to find my way through that practice as well. So this is kind of amazing, Amy, because your name came up there and I thought, you know, we get it, you know, and where you live. It, it was just like, wow, look at that, you know? So then I pull, finally a card comes and what does the message say? The holiest of all spots on earth is where an ancient hatred becomes a present love. I mean, you know, this is, I'll post this to the stories today. This is from The Course in Miracles. Um, the lessons are so beautiful on these teachings. If you're somebody who's working with your, you know, like, how, how do we heal this? How do we heal this? How do we do this? Like, how? Because what the F, you know? Here we are assuming it's getting better. People are waking up and then there's more violence, more shootings, you know? So we can't give up. We have to practice and we have to come to our alchemical practice. We have to come to our deeper practice. And friends, you know what? I commit to you. I love you even if this is not your movement, if it's not calling you. I want you to know you're okay. You're all right because what you're called to work on, Jeff said this to me last night, we are each here to live the life we are in. That's part of our mission is to live the life we're in. And sometimes we don't feel called to a movement, but we're very focused in other movements in our lives. So wherever you're called to serve, I, first of all, thank you. You're not here if you're not waking up. You know, you're not with me and with us if you're not waking up. So wherever you're feeling that. Yeah, Liz, isn't that a, the card amazing? So wherever you're called to wake up, you do your work. You do your work. You do your practice. And one of the things is we can't hold people in darkness. And we have to examine our own energies around that. And stay present with the way you know stay present with our way of um, how do I presence my hopelessness how do I presence my rage how do I presence my frustration how do I say hi I'm white and I uh, do not support this message you know what I'm saying yeah we have to stay, stay lit. You guys stay lit in our hearts. That's all there is to it. You know? That's the practice. And each of you helps me to do that. Yeah, so coming back to you. Um, Josie, you did your morning practice, that's good. I wanna know if you guys are doing your morning practices. Um, you're getting up in the morning, you're choosing some energy to focus on for the day. You're not just allowing crazy to enter and just roll with the crazy. I wish you could see outside, there are two squirrels just laying down on, my, on the deck, just relaxing. Uh, they come. You know, during morning magic, animals come, and I, I like to pretend they want to listen to me or just be in our, bask in our energy, but you know, who knows? <laughs> so we get up and we do our practice, and we say, this is the day I want to have. This is my word to the, to the day. This is my focus to the day. And right there is the willingness to do this practice to not hold a grievance, to not focus on my victim energy, to not focus on how unfair or attacked I am or, you know, whatever, or how hopeless it all is to stay lit one way or another to stay lit. Either I, you know, because I get down, as you probably know, I get down 
and then I look at you, and the world is all right with me, as Bill Withers sang. It really helps. So we sometimes we show up for each other like that. Yeah. So the holiest of all the spots on earth is where an ancient hatred has become a present love. You don't have to start by hating, loving the haters, <laughs> hating the lovers, lo hating the haters. You can start by saying, you know what, I really get how hating the haters um, perpetuates the energy. That somehow, even if the truth of what I'm, like, even if it's not your truth yet, what I'm saying, as you feel it come in, it resonates somehow, you can start to think, you know, there might be some truth to that. Let me sit with that. It's okay to take our time, isn't it? Don't you think? Hi, McLean. Welcome. I'm the bomb. You're the bomb. I love you, Amy. Bernadette says, I love this card. It makes sense. When I spot love and hate places, I get the chills. It's the impossible becoming possible to witness and feel that is awesome and the power of us as light workers you know those of you are called to hear to, to hear to witness that kind of stuff and then to share it on your teacher sorry I got something in my eye one second your teacher you're not just like self-involved in your ego I'm so tired of everything I'm tired of being upset I'm tired of the world when's it ever gonna get better these people they need to stop killing each other it's terrible you know that's one place I started there I'm not even saying anything about it I'm just saying that's one place but what Bernadette just said love um, when I spot love in hate places, I get chills. That is because the light is active and you feel it and you are witnessing and sensing power. It's a, I have goosebumps all up my, even up to my butt, up my legs and everything. Wow. Yeah, I get the chills. It's impos it's the impossible becoming possible. To witness and feel that is awesome and the power of us as light workers. We are mighty friends. You'll always find somebody who will say, Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll pray. But that's not the real world, Robin. I'm so grateful to my brother in law who has said that to me in the past because he's in a different reality. You know what I mean? So he'll say, That's not the real world. You know, I've read your stuff, I've read your blog, I hear you. That's not the real world, Robin. I'm so grateful to those friends who teach me. Keep going, girl. Because your job isn't to convince the non-believers. You know, your job is to talk to your friends who are interested in shining and praying and holding space and, you know, never giving up and seeing the beauty, seeing the light, seeing the... Is it not true? Yes, it is. Somebody is so fired up today. McLean, I'm glad you're here. Good morning, Miss Amy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So friends, you know, in any way you want to shine today, you do it. You do that. And you hold hope for your miracles. You know, um, I guess, is it time? I will tell you the other half of this awesome story. And then we're going to have some healing and a magic prayer. So, I was saying to you before, because I love to share my little miracle stories, you know? I said I would love, wouldn't it be cool if she had a blue butterfly? I could have the blue butterfly mug. And then I was like, no, because this is already my favorite. You know what I mean? I won't, I won't use it. It will stress me out. This is what happens to me. <laughs> Two butterfly mugs. 
Okay, so then, and I would like, if you're here, because of course there's no gift card, lots of people write and say, what's your home address? I want to send you a little gift. And then they don't put a gift note in there. So this morning, this arrived from the postman. <laughs> so you see the color, right? And you see it's a flying person, a flying, flying birds. And it says, be free. It's amazing. So in a way, you know, it happened, right? I got the blue. It's a bird. It's a new mug. It's not another butterfly mug that would stress me out. Is this not amazing? Honey. Thank you. It was Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And from Anthropology, my favorite place. I own one other mug from Anthropology. You know, I just like that they have artists, you know, and yeah, be free. Well, thank you, my honey. This has really made my day. And don't you just love how you were co-opted in the specialness? Because now I'm realizing you have a blue butterfly story, do you not? Remember that day you went walking? Thank you so much. I love it. I was just like, yeah, I don't know, but I'm going to come and tell the story. And it's gorgeous. And I love it. And it's a new mug. And it's blue. And it has a mantra and flying birds. It's just everything, you know. Learning to receive. Learning to celebrate abundance in ways that are not what you thought. It's really important now. Being open to all the forms of love that want to come to you now is so important. We don't get to decide what matters and what doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So this to me is better than anything else I could imagine. I love it. Thank you, honey. Yeah. Anna had a blue butterfly story happen to her, you know? Um, yeah. Just It's just cool. It's just cool. So thank you. I can't wait you to use it. So, how about we do a little healing? And is there anything special you would love for yourself today? Um, I wanted to follow up that Carrie's here today. And I, I mentioned this yesterday, but her MRI shows good results. Smaller. Her tumor is smaller. And there is a, a sense of joy happening in our hearts. And it is, it's beautiful. So I wanted to make sure to say, celebrate you, honey. And Jeff says, it's hard sometimes to be open to love. And this is the moment I'm going to ask you to be open to love. Because Jeffy and I, this morning, I said, honey, you know, Jeff is healing his own, um, his own version of cancer, <laughs> bladder cancer. It's been, he's been free of that for a while now, but uh, today is the day he goes back for the big test where they look inside his beautiful bladder. Did you ever think I would say that on the live, honey? <laughs> on, on, in his beautiful bladder and give him another happy report, positive, all clear. You guys keep typing your words. We're going to do that next. Um, so today, he goes down, and I'd like us to hold a special, just, you're amazing, number one. No sadness, no fear, don't do that, just, he's amazing, is he not? Think of all that he shares with us, and how much delight he brings, even if it's just once in a while, yeah, love you, Jeff. Jeffy, I hope you're reading these. Um, let's just celebrate this guy, this amazing guy who... You know, he's such a gift to the world, really, just a gem. So, um, yeah, and I said to him, do you want us to hold a little prayer for you today? And he was like, no, no, maybe tomorrow I'll say how it went, though. And I said, just waited, because, you know, after a few minutes of a healing practice, you kind of know how people are been doing this like three minutes now 
he had to wait to open the love. I had to wait for him to decide. You don't get to pick that for someone. You don't get to shove them. Shove them. You need to open your heart to love. You need to take it in. You, need, you know what your problem is? You're too resistant. Oh my God. Don't do it, boo-boo. That's when I want to take my shoe off and bop somebody right in the head. Because no. Everybody to their own. So, yeah, I waited. And it was like this gorgeous thing. Um, so, you know, here he's saying it's hard to be open to love. He reminded me of the sunflowers who keep rotating to the sun. He said, I guess it's hard to be open to receiving. It's hard to ask for that, to have some attention, have some love. So right here and now, I want to say, love you so much. So proud of you. So amazing. Your healing journey has been miraculous. Many, many blessings to you. Since COVID, I can't be his co-pilot. They don't let you, I, you know, we're not doing that. So at Northwestern. So you will go and make your brave way. And we stand with you today, honey. And thank you. Yeah. So healing. So here we go. I'm going to start the healing. I'm just watching the clock because I have a client at 10. I'm not going to be late. I'm all set up already. I've learned how to do this now. It's so good. So if the healing's not for you today, go like this. And Shizu camera in the house. Bippin san. How'd I do? <laughs> I tried to look up the word, how you say it. No, there's no way. Nobody tells me how to say these words in Japanese, but Beppin san. Thank and thank you, my friend, my beautiful friend, my beautiful lady. Yeah. Good morning. Hello. Good after. Good evening. You're in bed already, aren't you? All right. So here comes our healing, and I'm going to read your words now. For Amy, headache and letting go. Yeah, for the release. Look at our orchids. They're, these are still from Allison's mom, 2010. How long have I been sharing these blossoms with you today? Uh, maybe a month and a half. They're in full bloom still. All right, that's now I can get the full arm swing. <laughs> so for letting go, may we soften may we may we release and if i add on to your words don't take it personally just know you're the catalyst and inspiration may we release control may we soften and relax may we trust that all is well divine flow is a thing lexi i'll just say may we have momentum Celebrate our momentum today. Celebrate the flow of momentum. Carrie and Jeff, I hope you're reading the comments here. May we have compassion, Kara. Compassion for ourselves and for others. May we know that even though we might not agree with the way we behaved, the mistakes we perceive having made at one time, or what we witness in others. May we practice compassion. Roshni, may we be a light in the world as ourselves. May we release our upset, our story of telling the upset, May we release the part of us that is in victim consciousness and acknowledge we want a better way. It's not that big of a deal, you know? May we go there. May we go there. Yes, may we be in our centers. For Amy, May we be proud of ourselves, so proud of ourselves, our progress, our good hearts, the good work we're doing. 
for Jeff. You wouldn't believe where they can fit a camera, given enough effort. Yes, I have been there so many times. You, for Jeff, may we be courageous and easy. May we know who we are. May we feel relaxed, even in the impossible situation. May we look forward to I was going to say the happy news, but you know, I am thinking about this Buddhist principle, um, Tosha Silver, <laughs> Tosha Silver talks about it, a paragaha, I don't know, I don't know, but I do know this, it starts with, it's already broken, it's already done, it's already gone, it already happened, and now... I am witnessing in this moment now, I'm, I'm only witnessing the past right now. It's already, when you think of something that you want to learn how to love, you say, in a way, you know, I understand one day this won't be here. One day this will be over and all things change, even your favorite things, right? Got to love what you love while you love it because it does change. Even your sunflowers change. Your garden is changing. Your hair is changing. Your body is changing. Love what you love. Don't be here in the now worrying about the past or the future. Understand it is changing. And so now I am witnessing the beauty and I have an opportunity to really love and appreciate this moment. I think I said that very well. She tells a story in her um, It's Not Your Money book about a favorite glass or a favorite new mug that you know one day it's going to break. One day something's going to happen to it. It's going to go away. So now while I'm with it and I'm using it, it's precious. It's sacred. It's cool. So for Jeffrey, may you be in that space today. Yeah, and for Ellen and your physical exam today. And may you know you're healthy and alive. I love all these comments about Jeff. Jeff, you're quite the unicorn. Lots of love flowing to you. You guys are the best. Thank you. My prayers to you, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Aww. You guys, that's the best. He had me, he stood outside the sunflowers this morning, but beneath them, because they are, he thinks, maybe eight or nine feet tall. And he said, take my picture, so I'll post it later. Jeffrey Sunflower it. Luckily, afterwards, I will go treat myself to some cake. Yeah. Beppinson. Hi, my friend. I would like to call in more acceptance of this new beautiful reality I'm creating for myself. So Miss Leisha, let's all do this together. I'm in a new beautiful reality as well. I don't know about the rest of you. You know, the world of COVID has changed things and we can let go. I've been talking to our, those of you in class with me or if you were at the healing circle last night, by the way, thank you and amazing and whoa, so good. We were talking about just everybody's got something they're learning to acclimate to and it doesn't have to be bad news it doesn't have to be scary we can relax we can float we can release it doesn't always have to be sad and scary this is you know this is the way it goes so let's flow may I flow in my new beautiful reality may I see the many facets and colors and joys of this new way may I be free may I be free fly free be easy in my heart about it all yeah and if there's cake may I allow myself to enjoy it release for Amy may I release right now let's do this together let's not think about it now and think that's the night yes i need to do that too let's practice right now so start with the soles of your feet even if you're just laying on the bed or you're whatever start with the soles of the feet and allow them to release 
the soles of the feet. Um, allow them to release that tendon that runs from the Achilles area and down um, into the art, the high arch. This corresponds to your solar plexus in healing, in my way of seeing energy. Um, your entire spine, in a way, is contained in your foot. Your, um, so you can rub your feet sometimes for healing and hold your feet. But now, if we just practice the soles of our feet opening, and let's just pretend this is my that arch of my foot, let it uh, do it with me now. <sighs> Yesterday I watched the squirrels doing this with their hands. They love laying on the deck. I don't know what it is here, but, and they just sometimes they flex and stretch their feet and their hands. Uh, and then they relax out. I'm glad nobody just hopped on. I must look like a freakazoid here. Let's soften the feet, okay? So even though the word is release, Amy, we're softening the feet. Then we'll move up. And you see how I'm doing it? I'm undulating my spine. Undulate. That's a word that mermaids need to know. So let your spine move a little. This is great in the shower. What we're doing first is opening space. We have to open up the interstitial spaces inside where it's tight because all the stuff is like like that. The cells are like. So we have to first do a little relax, soften, soften, soften. Then find your sacrum, you know. I would show you mine, but you know where it is? Your lower spine. <laughs> I would show you mine, but I got nothing after that. I got nothing. I don't know why I said it like that. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, along the sacrum of your spine it's a if you google sacrum you're gonna see a butterfly think about that butterfly and soften soften now whoa are you here are you open I feel so grounded so grounded what do you want to release babe just exhale that's our process open like a butterfly that's our process let it out so beautiful yeah Carrie says I'm learning there is a transition period to release and flow with good news too yep it's another practice for receiving. I'm guessing that's what you meant. Yeah, because, you know, to every season, there's a change. The only thing we can count on is change that comes from, is it Herodotus or Epictetus? But um, that's really the only constant is change. So the good news, but you drink it in fully, presence it fully. And the bad news too, what we call good and bad, you know, presence it fully because it's going to change. How would it be in your highest high or your lowest low to say, this is going to change? Jeff said to me the other night, you know, as I struggle with depression or anxiety and occasionally have those thoughts, like I don't know why I was, why I'm here, why I'm alive, why I'm... We don't have to be freaked out about this. We don't have to eradicate it. It needs to be loved and embraced. But also, I was saying to him, you know, the greatest healing is to recognize it in an entire sequence of movement. And you will see there is such a swing. You know that saying, full circle? There's such a movement, you know? If you're freaking out about who you are or how you are, don't let yourself get stuck in at one point.
Thanks, McLean. Isn't that perfect? I was like, I hope I'm explaining that well. So don't, don't get stuck there. Amy, that's perfect. Dancing between meetings. We have to keep dancing. We have to keep moving and undulating. You know, I love this story about every once in a while, the satellite will pick up, like the Earth satellite will pick up this rare white beluga whale. If you ever ask me, what kind of animal do you connect to, Robin? I would say this rare white beluga whale. They don't know a lot about her. Did she, where did she come from? Where does she live? How did she get all those scars and wounds? And here she goes. But, you know, the thing for me is she's always undulating. When you see her swimming on the satellite, she's always undulating. And, you know, when I do this in my hips, undulate. This is a grounding technique for any of you who struggle. Put your feet hip width apart and just let your hips sway. It's like dancing, Amy. Sometimes I talk to people. If I have to go to a party, I, I do like COVID for that. I'm not a party girl. I love to party. Let's, let's be clear. I just don't like the big everything. Um, but I will stand and talk to people undulating, holding on to my glass for dear life, trying not to drink like a fish because I'm anxious, right? Yeah, just trying to hold on. But sometimes I will, it's fun because if three people are standing with me, eventually everybody's doing it. And nobody knows they are. And the conversation changes. Amazing. So undulate. Let yourself undulate. You really think about that butterfly in your sacrum making a figure eight, the infinity symbol, and think about yourself. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty profound. So, may you be at peace today. May you be in your light today. May you be in your love today. May you remember Yeah, Amanda, see how it goes. I wonder if you can do it while you play guitar or do you have to sit when you play? <laughs> May you be in your light. May you be in your remembrance that you're perfect as is in the life you're in. That's your joy. That's what you're meant to receive with joy. The good, the bad, the ugly, what we would judge, what we would shame, what we would... Welcome it all in and remember that love holds no grievances. I'll post all of this to the story today. The holiest of all spots on earth is where an ancient hatred has become a present love. And that could be this holiest spot right here. From you to you. You know, be your friend. Our podcast this week, 103, is about be your own friend. Be a friend to yourself. So, so much love. Case in point, Amanda, she says she does move like that when she plays standing up. It's grounding. So I'm going to ring the bell. Hi, Mary. Um, I got to meet Mary's mom last night, you guys. Woo, woo. So cool. I love this time with you. I'll be here again tomorrow. If you feel called to support my work, I would welcome that. There's a link in the profile and mostly do the practice. Take something that worked for you today and apply it in your life. Help someone else. Bring a friend, tell a friend. We need this love. We need more of us sharing this love. So, would somebody type now? Thank you too, babes. So good you could be here. Bernadette and Amy, my teachers, could be here anyway today. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, Leisha. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Roshni. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, no. Leno. Leno. I love it. 
It's my pleasure, my friend. Jeffrey now. Jeffrey, come up and give me a kiss because I go to work now. Come give me a smooch. Thanks, Liz. So good to be with you. Thanks, Beppin san. Thanks, McLean. I love you guys. You rock my world. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Carrie. God bless my friend today. Light and love, alive in the heart. Rising, rising, free and alive. Joyful, listening, opening, sharing. Free, free, free. Here you go. Bye-bye. That was fucking awesome, whatever I just said. I just said fuck. <laughs>